Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So about a week ago, I made a video on this new garden plot that I had dug up and removed rocks, all these rocks like this, um, all through there. And I piled up a whole bunch of compost. And now I'm growing some cover crops. I just figured I'd give you guys an update on this. So this is the sun hemp and buckwheat a combo and boy has it taken off look at this and I even have the the buckwheat starting little flowers as you can see here that's pretty amazing it's doing really well uh, this is actually really close to the time where I can actually you know terminate it tarp it and then once that all breaks down and kind of dies a little bit then and I can come through and plant a crop here. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about that, guys. It's, it's, it's looking really good and really healthy. Here are the beans. So all of them came in. Uh, there are still a couple holes. I know I talked about it last time we had some holes, but it's mostly filled in. There's like one here. You can see we even recently had a couple pop up to kind of fill this line in. Here's one that just came up. So it's been like three weeks since uh, the first one popped up in this row. And I still got some popping up. That's so crazy. But we got a couple holes, but it's mostly filled in. That center is just amazing. It's really filled in. So that's doing really well. And then I planted over here. This is um, tillage radish. Now I can eat the tillage radish as well, but uh, this is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna leave most of them in the ground for them to decompose. And then hopefully that adds a, a lot of organic matter deep because they have really deep tap roots and that'll help break apart some of the soil even deeper than I could by hand. And over time, you know, combinations of this and uh, sun hemp or whatever it may be uh, in all these beds over, over the next year is gonna really improve this. But these were sown not too long ago and I've even got some double true leaves on some of them now. So they're growing and they should uh, take off pretty soon here and start growing me a taproot to be able to till. But this is gonna be a winter kill. So this is gonna stay in the ground much longer than that. And same thing here. These are gonna take a lot longer than the, the buckwheat because it's, it, that's, these take longer. That's just what they are. So these I think are 90 day uh, and they've been in there maybe 30 already. So we've got another two months roughly and then uh, that's to harvest the beans by the way so I might terminate it before the beans we'll see I'm not sure uh, here this is all the way until winter I think it's also 90 day and I planted this a little later than here so we've got we got until like late November maybe I would say late November probably maybe early December before I can you know take care of this and kill them off and then I'll have to tarp it of course for two weeks to make sure everything's really dead and then I can plant in here but that's the thing with cover crops. So that's three different types of cover crops I'm trying out. That's the thing with it is you don't necessarily get to plant right away uh, any kind of things that you're gonna harvest. Now I can harvest beans if I let them get big enough for that. And I can harvest the radish once they uh, get large enough. I definitely can do that. But most cover crops, I mean, I'm not harvesting anything here. Um, so they're, they're just there to improve the soil. And the fact that this is a brand new bed, I really need to get something in the ground that is easy to grow. And most cover crops are easy to grow. They're not difficult. So I need those to kind of kickstart this. So uh, it's doing really well. I still have this bed that I'm waiting. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna put there yet for a cover crop. I'm, I'm really leaning on doing a uh, winter wheat is probably what I'll do, but I could be wrong. I, I might change my idea on that, um, so. I'll let you guys know. It's possible even that I might not do a cover crop here. I might just do a whole bunch of lettuce and see how that does because the cover crops are doing so well. Lettuce might do just fine. So that I, might, I just might do a whole bed of lettuce so I can eat it and then, um, but it'll send roots in and really kind of kickstart the, the bed and help it grow well. So well, thanks for watching everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. By the way, I'm going to put the, the link in below to the video of me actually doing all this. It, it's a really good video. It's fun. It shows in depth of all that I did. It was a whole lot of work, guys, a whole lot of work. Um, it is a rather long video, but 
uh, I think worth it. So definitely check that out. I'll put it down below in the description. And uh, yeah, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.